Uh, you had a fight with Snapjaw, or not with Snapjaw, alongside Snapjaw, yeah. trying to um, make all his friends join you. Some of which did, some of which did not. You had to kill the ones that did not. You're such nice people. There were also some cultists uh, who you ended up given what for. And you well and truly have alerted this castle to your presence here. So, uh, after the sounds of battle in the courtyard grow quiet, uh, the, the three remaining giant frogs that were still alive at the end of the, uh, the last combat sort of hop off uh, in distaste for all the bloodshed and without riders or anyone to, to guide them into battle, they just become harmless little beasties. And what do you all do? <laughs> Snapjaw stands over the bodies of uh, a couple of the lizard folk that he helped to kill. Um, seemingly disappointed that they didn't choose to follow him yeah. when given the opportunity. Sorry, one second, mouthful. I'll turn to the nearest cultist. The yeah. cultists are all dead. <laughs> The but but didn't they come out and help us? Uh, did they? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, because yeah, I, I strode past everything and the bullywogs hit me, so I created a ruckus, which yeah. got the cultists evolved and put the bullywogs... Ah, yes, from the kitchen in the, the Great Hall area. Yes, a couple of them did. Okay, so yeah, you go to the, the cultists there that are, that came out, sorry, um, and they are hanging around here-ish. And what do you say? In which direction did the Red Wizard of Fae go, hmm? Huh? The Red Wizard, the wish. Oh, the, the bald man in the red robes? That one, yes. Uh, up, up there, and he points to uh, that tower, which is the southwest tower, not to be confused with the northwest. Oh, right, because this is the map where oh, north yeah. is to the right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, excellent. And the treasure is all secured, yeah? I'd hope so. Wouldn't want to be pissing Rizmir off in a time like this. Oh, Rizmir is here! He looks at uh, the other cultist, shrugs, possibly? But comes and, comes and goes a... more often than I'd like. They made very good time, is all I am saying, because I last I saw they were, well, some, some, some way. It is good, it is good. Of course, of course. You, you were looking for the bald man, though. Yes, uh, yes, not, not long past. Ah, Rizmir. uh, Rizmir's on, yes, yeah, uh, well, you can get there from that tower, but... Uh, I don't know, it seems the longest way. Ah, well, well, thank you, thank you. I'll... And thank you for your assistance with the bullywogs, yes? Uh, go go back to dinner, go back to dinner. I, I have business to attend to with the, the bald man. Righto, uh, of course, and he looks back and can see uh, the lizard folk that sort of sided with Snapjaw cleaning up a lot of the bodies yeah. here. Um, Snapjaw sees that you're talking with the cultists and he, he sort of comes over to you and says so they think we are the good ones? You did not strike a member of the dragon cult, yes? Of, of course not. So then you are the good ones. Good. You've convinced them to help us kill the bullywugs. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Not yet. It is a very. It will require some diplomacy. Yeah, di uh, diplomacy. More fighting, yes. Oh. Well, I ho I hope not, but it may come to that. Always, always more fighting. No rest for the wicked, as they say. Well, that's our diplomacy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. He shrugs nice. best. I guess it is so. So you you head off to the uh, southwest tower. Um, out of character, real quick. Um, wasn't there like some treasure in the basement too that we that there was available? To I yeah, yeah. Some someone did mention that it was being stored in the the basement area. Yes. Yeah, like. Treasure in the basement, I think, is guarded by like, some like gelatin cube or ooze or some something like that. I don't know if that's me just making stuff up though. So, um, Snapjaw would be also letting you know that uh, Farblex and the other Bollywugs have made their lair underneath the castle as well. That is where they're staged. Sorry, uh, Fablix and what? Fablix. Fablix is the, the leader of the Bullywugs here. Right, okay. And yeah, he told you, uh, there is certainly great treasure there if we can clear out the Bullywugs. So do we, uh, do we want to clear out these Bullywugs ourselves, or try Damn. to get some of these cultists to join us? We could do both. Bearing in mind the cultists probably aren't going to want to clear out the Bullywugs. They are their chafe people. It's just what mm -hmm. Snapdraw seems to have assumed, because uh, Morjit is there chatting with the cultists, and the cultists aren't killing Snapdraw. Oh, no, fair. It's just a... <clears throat> Uh, I'm making an assumption here in character that because they saw the Bullywogs attacking a cultist member, that maybe they need a little bit of uh, reminding. What's what? Yeah. Good thinking. Of course, there's also just a, a large chance that they don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, if you, uh, if y'all folks want to just head on down to the basement and get rid of this Bollywog boss, uh, it's fine with me. And me. The two non-thinkers have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Think we just think about fighting. Yeah, that's uh, right. Snap job, <laughs> where do they keep the treasure, yes? Like I said, get the bullywugs from underneath, I'm sure all the treasure is kept there. It's uh makes sense, no? Treasure under the castle, castle protects it. If you knock down the castle, the treasure's still underneath. That makes no sense insight. to put it on the top. You knock down the castle and the treasure spills everywhere. <laughs> It makes sense to me. Yes. Well, let's go take out these bully logs. Yes. yes. Make an insight he check. Snaps his I can't together. believe you bought that. <laughs> make, make an insight <laughs> check there, Flint. Throw it in the the tower. Sure. Seems legit. <laughs> makes sense, like on surface level. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll just kind of <laughs> rub, rub my chin thoughtfully and nod, and just like. Yeah, he's a he's got a point, you know. It does help that Morjid is also uh, more than willingly uh, accepting that explanation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's like the little guy says: you put the treasure on the bottom, not on the top. Makes sense. All right. I'll just start heading towards the the nearest basement entrance. So, uh, Snapjaw tells you that the way to get into uh, the castle, uh, sorry, the, the, the basement of the castle, I should say, uh, is through, 
now. Let me just fucking see because the maps change orientation at every bloody time. <laughs> it's fancy though. Don't you like fancy stuff, Spidey? Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> so the entry cabin, the steps from the southwest tower spill out oh, yeah. down. Cool, okay. awesome. So they do go that way. Yeah. So these stairs, also in the southwest tower, head downstairs. Now, when uh, you guys had come in, there had been like an explosion of uh, magical light from one of the tower windows, which also was this western tower. Um, indicating that something had happened when you had arrived. I remember that much as well. So the Southwest Tower seems to be the place where all the action is happening. Um, you you gather that Resmere's Tower is, or like room is actually in the Southeast Tower, um, but you can access it by going up to the oh second God, floor and across, or just going straight up from the bottom of that tower. But that's your decision. Time. Who is Resmir again? It's the baddies. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, did I not make any notes? I did. Let's see. Dragon folk of some import. Okay. I can't believe Resmere? I actually didn't make notes. Good for me. <laughs> is this is Resmir? Right. The purple robed. Uh, half dragon that you'd seen several times uh, and was also in the caravan but had ridden off ahead on I think this first or second night ahead of the rest of the group yeah before they had arrived at the um, the roadhouse he and he was like ordering off. around other dragon kin stuff so it seemed like he was obviously important yeah And everyone seems to hold mentioning Resmir in quite some sort of fearful regard. Kind of hushed tone sort of deal. Yeah. Ooh, don't want to, don't want to piss off Resmir. Gotcha. Okay. So, is everyone as a group going down to the dungeon? If so, I'll place you all on the map. If, is anyone going some different way? Nah, stick together, eh? Sweet. Yeah, I was going dungeon. <clears throat> Yeah, we found the dragons. Time to do some dungeoning. <laughs> yes. Okay, doggy. So. Yeah, like yeah. Short rest, right? Yes, yes. Five and five minutes short rest. I'll be there on the tracker. <laughs> So as you go into the southwest tower, you have to go in through the, the great yeah. hall there. Um, as you do, you can see there's a number of cultists sitting down, about five or six of them eating their meals. There's enough space here for uh, maybe 20 or 30 of them at any one time. Um, the eastern end, you can see, is all set up with the, the, the food tables, and there's various plates, uh, some of them cleaned of food, others still with detritus, bones, whatnot left on them, uh, and this half dozen or so cultists that are currently eating. Um, the western half of this, so the, the, the way you're heading, uh, is a pile of goodies. Um, the tables in this hall are covered with valuables. They appear to be uh, sort of jewels and trinkets, probably hauled in from the Carnath Roadhouse, um, that are in the midst of being cleaned, sorted, and repacked. Uh, there's two cultists tending to this at the moment. Um, and as you sort of enter the hall, they all look up and... And regard you, see see Morjit, who I assume is uh, carrying on oh, with his nice. yes yes very important business. We're all cultists. What what? Uh, and, <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> yeah. How's it going? Like throwing your little uh, Hitler salute uh, out at everyone to let them know that you're part of the um, the the group of baddies, and you make your way through into the antechamber of the antechamber of the southwest tower. Um, in this room, uh, there's swamp water seeping into the, the chamber through a crack in the foundation where the, uh, the tower has sunk somewhat into the swamp. Um, there's a cloying, moldy stink in here. Uh, and there's a, a walkway of planks laid across the floor so that you could walk between these two doorways um, without soaking your feet. Uh, and this, this room is not used for any sort of storage whatsoever. Um, the next room is similarly... Uh, yeah. smelly and, and wet 
um, but less so, not requiring any wooden planks. And then the stairs lead, uh, there's a set leading up and a set leading down. Um, down into the caverns beneath the castle. So, <clears throat> as we get uh, further down, downward, as we go further down, good lord, um, mm -hmm. does the water level rise? No, so or the water level um, <laughs> is sort of like spilling in from the cracks on that the ground level. Outside. Then the cavern goes in there and it's quite hard rock that it goes in. So the the angle of the underground sort of bends back into the castle's footprint. Okay. It doesn't go under the swamp. Yeah. Um, it is still damp and mildewy and, uh, you know, ankle deep in a few <laughs> places, but for the most part... Uh, it's not like it's flooding down here. Um, so I will say as no. well, there is another room here by the staircase, but uh, the smell coming from it is quite horrible. And you can see from the door, uh, it, it doesn't look terribly used. You don't see any crates or anything, and it's dark and, and unlit. Um, the windows are uh, sort of blocked by uh, large planks of wood. Um, and you can hear a ominous chittering uh, as you looking through the doorway next to the staircase uh, that sounds like some creature or other has made its home in that, that little room. I recommend you check it out. <laughs> I, as a DM, recommend you check it out. <laughs> they stand there looking at a pond and some stairs for an hour. I'm just going to put my bow down and then just start it. I will close my eyes and walk in with my arms outstretched. Hello? Anything in here? <laughs> No, there's very obviously some insect or other has made its, its home in there. Uh, probably a big one, based on the, the sound of the chittering. Can I, speaking of, uh, can I roll a nature check? To See what if I can determine. Uh, I would like to determine if I am familiar with this particular brand of chittering. Hmm. I would say if you're going to stand at the door and try to listen for what this thing is without any sight, sound, or, or stepping inside, it's going to be difficulty 25. Okay. All right. Oof. 24. Not even <laughs> shitting you. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Okay. Uh, All right. it's, it's not enough for you to know exactly what it is. Uh, but based on this sort of environment, uh, you know, mildewy stones, that sort of thing, uh, probably some sort of uh, cavernous millipede or centipede, um, which you know can grow fairly large in the right conditions. Right. And, you know, there's a whole heck of a lot of chittering, but it's in a rhythmic pattern that uh, sounds it's like dark. one thing slithering um or, you know, one thing at a time slithering with many, many legs rather than many, many things chittering yes. all at the same time. Okay. okay. Not a bullywog centipede, is it? Oh. <laughs> centipede? Yes. <clears throat> well, uh... I, uh... I can't put my, my, my finger on it, but, um... Uh, I think uh, some sort of multi-legged insect down there. I, it's right on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't seem to recall exactly what this thing is. But uh, generally, considering insects of that type, we might want to be prepared for uh, something nasty. Yeah. So this this is the room off the side of the stairs. Um, but if they're even making their home up here, it's probably highly likely that underground... Uh, is where these things are coming from. So, uh, very much a, a word of warning for, for what sort of things might be ahead. Um, the steps down, uh, just to, sorry to hurry you through a little bit, um, the steps down from this, this tower uh, mm -hmm. spill out into an entry chamber. Um, this chamber is fairly brightly lit by one lantern hanging next to the entrance steps and another hanging near the actual northwest opening. Um <laughs> The, the room in here is empty, and the only sound that you can hear once you've made it down the stairs and out of, out of earshot of the chittering room upstairs uh, is dripping water uh, coming from this small crack in the wall. Um, uh, 
Um, you can see that this place is a big, big mess of rooms and places to go. Uh, oh, I have five oh shit, it is. You can tell you from t- your. Actually, you know what? Let's mask it. <laughs> we can't tell. <laughs> Rip. Well. <laughs> as as you go down a level, it sort of your vision clips for a second through the level transition, and you can see the whole map, but then it loads and you can't. <laughs> I should have taken a screenshot. I did. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, I didn't. too quick. Um, I'm sorry. Which directions are uh, available from where we're currently standing? Uh, I think north and east. So that's assuming that like north is up. Right. That's a pretty big assumption to be making. Yes, that yeah, is that actually is. north. <laughs> oh, I see that. Okay. Um. <clears throat> From what I remember, north. Well, okay. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say. No, that I, don't, I don't mind. Yeah, no. no, okay. From what I remember, uh, north, that direction leads to like sort of like a cliff face. Whereas this. That way leads to like sort of like a, a looping path down to the like sort of, sort of like that. Well, I would think that maybe perhaps getting a view from the cliff face if it's not or cliff if it's not unbelievably dark. Perhaps to see if there's anything we need to watch out for. Uh, what sort of floor is this cavern? Um, where you're standing is just sort of wet rock. Um, it's hewn rock that's been, uh, you know, shaped to a, a, a rather well flat surface. Um, where the big puddle is in the middle is water that's come from this crack in the, the, the wall here to the northeast. Uh, that's just sort of eroded away after many years of, uh, I guess, just running through here. Um, so that bit's a little bit deeper, maybe half a foot to a foot Probably deep in the middle. Um, and the walls themselves are very roughly hewn. So there's, uh, like, <clears throat> it's almost like they stumbled yeah, into right. and then just smoothened the floor of a natural cavern oh, rather easy. than did any sort of planned uh, dungeoneering. Oh, yeah. are, are there any tracks or signs of creatures' movements in the area? Uh, yes, actually. Um, there's a, se- uh, a large number of footprints heading both southeast and northwest. Um, I'll get a uh, perception or a nature check from you. To, oh, you to, in the tower? A bit. Oh, up to you, mate. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, you can tell quite quickly wow, that the to the southeast, um, that path is only used by bullywugs. Um, the footprints that include like cultists and, or you know people that you assume to be cultists um, and lizard folk uh, use the northwest. All right, pass that on to the guys. Then I assume that northwest is where we will find the gold. Yeah, it seems likely to me. I mean. Uh... I will, I will uh, sorry, clarify that as well a little bit. There is very little human and lizard folk traffic to the northwest. There, there is only traffic to the northwest that's human and lizard folk, but there is not much. Certainly not as much as you'd expect if this is where treasure is constantly loaded, unloaded, brought, etc. Aha. Uh-huh. Might have to snap. What about this flooded cavern to the uh, north? So there's a a crack in the wall um, that looks wide enough to sort of slip through one by one. uh, And it's about three foot above the the level of the water. So um, while the water's only a foot to a foot and a half deep, you would need to stoop, um, stoop in to step in. And uh, it does seem to go on a a little ways further back. you can't see anything. There's no light at the other end, and it's because uh, it curves around a wee bit. You can't 
shine a light down to see what it is. If you wanted, wanted to go see what's in there, you would have to go and see what's in there. Well, what does everyone think? Bullywugs? That, that's what we come down for, wasn't it? Bullywugs, indeed. So, I, I want to make sure I got all this right. That direction is very little traffic. It's only human and lizard folk traffic. Mm -hmm. That direction is tons of bully lord. Yes. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm down for the bully wugs. Actually, sorry, Aurelius, you did look at that crack, didn't you? So I'm, I'm going to say your character went to, to go and have a peek. Um, not right up close or anything. Uh, roll me a perception, please. Sure thing. I'd go up with him and watch his back. You can see, uh, as you sort of maybe hold up a lantern or whatever source of light you have, um, you can see the glint of gems beneath the water uh, about 20 feet beyond what I've revealed on the map. <laughs> Uh, if on the on the note of treasure, I I do believe I see some gems in the water. Gems, you say? Maybe we should investigate. Yes. Uh, what color are these gems? Uh, it's hard to tell because they're mostly reflecting, but you can see a rainbow of different colors, uh, and some that aren't quite so shiny maybe some semi-precious stones uh definitely a couple of uh opals maybe just based on the colors oh hell yeah rainbow of gem get like three of those and i'll be able to make dragons soon <laughs> now i'm uh i ain't the smartest tool in the shed but uh it seems a little suspicious that there's just some loose gems out there in the water yeah well as snapjaw said yes there's an entire castle on top defending them I suppose. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must take a close look. After you, Mojit. What level are you guys? Ten. Oh, are we not high enough? Ten. Oh, oh wait. holy shit, we are ten. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll go. I'll go with Mojit. I'm, I'm a bit curious. I'll, I'll pack the water with my javelin if he can't see the bottom. <laughs> you coming? You coming, Flint? Water, we need nah, we, we, we to keep watch. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep watching. Uh, sorry, I'm not preparing an encounter, uh, but oh, I do need to go to the bathroom for exactly. a couple of minutes, so I'll be back yep. in a second. So. Okay. <laughs> Good plan. Hey, that that uh, sounds like something someone preparing an encounter would say. Yes. Yeah. Always, yeah. Having, yeah. always, always having a nervous week. Before encounter starts, and, 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 um, I'll, I'll go with you guys into the gem pool yeah we probably should go together and if, even if you know the two of us take the front and even if you're 10 foot behind just to cover us i'll yeah, just make well, sure not too i big. figure if things go south i can just grab more jeep and teleport out yeah i'll keep an eye out at water's edge why would things go south? Nothing ever goes wrong, right? <laughs> For us? Hmm. At no I point mean, ever have we I made it. Bad... Treasure in the water in a in a tunnel? What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. <laughs> See? There we go. The entire water is just a large ooze. <laughs> Or a giant tongue or something. Oh, man. Jelly tongue? Just a very large mimic. Ugh. Oh, that'd be bad. It'd be quick, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. What's, that, what's that thing from um, Star Wars that, you know, eats you over a thousand years or whatever? Oh, yeah. The fucking... Worms. Whatever it's called. Yeah. Sarlacc. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, well done. I'll be right back. I'm going for a whiz as well. All right.
Golem online before? Yeah, I'm not sure. Is he still plotting against us? He is, yes. Bastard. I know. So what have you been doing in the downtime? If you've had downtime. Uh, playing way too many games, but uh, mostly I've actually still been working. Luckily, I just work from home because I'm a home care aide, so, you know. Cool. What games have you been playing? Uh, let's see. State of Decay 2, um, Sea of Thieves, uh, a lot of tabletop RPGs online mostly. Uh, mostly stuff like that, yeah. League of Legends because I hate myself a little bit. You know. Wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I regret um, every single moment. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, my friend group has, um, we just started getting into the, um, fourth edition board games. So we started off playing Castle Ravenloft, and now we're, uh, moving on to Wrath of a Shark. Those are some really fun, they're really good. Actually, I reckon one of them's on special on Steam at the moment. I don't know whether it's multiplayer or not. I know it's a, it's obviously a video game, but... It's the one set in the jungle. I can't think what it's called. Tomb of Annihilation? That's the one. Yeah, that's on, I think it's 75% off or something at, at the moment. I think it's single player only. Ah, right. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. So how'd you find them? Were they good? Um, We got them through Tabletop Simulator. It's just like modules that you can download. So I guess technically it's piracy, but... Yeah, uh, we just found out about them because I 
remember getting one as a gift like many years back. It was just like, huh, I wonder how that actually plays. There's some pretty cool um, D&D stuff on there too, the tabletop simulator. Yeah, uh, there's some. There's also some like good in general sort of D&D esque games like uh, Gloomhaven's pretty good. Oh yeah, I've, I saw. Well, I think some of those so guys were playing them, weren't they? Ah uh, yeah, yeah. I may have spoiled that I'm back, but Gloomhaven's very very good. On yeah, tabletop sim uh, as well. It is. Tabletop simulator is pretty a pretty nice program in general. Yeah. Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, so I am back from my bio break, but I am now building that encounter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You don't need an encounter. You can just give us the gems. That's fine. I can just yeah. give you the result if you prefer of the encounter. You can just roll a d20 and see who survives. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, do I get a bonus for running away? Sure. Sweet. Sorry, did I say yes? I meant no. Did say yes, how dare you. So what tabletop RPGs have you been playing, Flint? Uh, yeah, let's see, um... Like uh, the Lancer RPG game, which is like basically... that's the mech one, is it? Yes, yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's really good. Uh, a lot of Savage Worlds, uh, mostly the Rifts kind of uh, uh ver not version, but sub version setting? of the setting. Thank you, Jesus. It's so difficult to find words. And uh, some fifth edition with my family. Yeah. Trying to branch out a little bit more. Uh, do different uh, systems. Things that aren't Pathfinder. <laughs> oh yeah, and Pathfinder. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> Pathfinder is way better if you just ignore most of the rules. Ah, yeah. oh, so it's like 5e. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, hey, right, you've got to have rules. Enough rules to ignore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right, oh, so, uh, as you come into uh, the lair, sorry, the... Scale of 1 to 10, how late am I? Uh, so, you are right on time. Uh, super so duper on time. So Gollum decides to go right first answer. into this chamber. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gollum, you're fine. Welcome. Are we using Fantasy Grounds Unity or the old one? Ah, uh, classic old one. Yeah. Unity does not like my module size. A module, like, list sizes yet. Not the only thing that doesn't like your size. Hey-o. Oh. hey -o. <laughs> You're very mean. Been trying to lose weight. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You're right. It was actually talking about your penis. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> It's not bitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not good. <laughs> if anything, it might be worse. No, no. Yeah, probably. More like it's alpha, am I right? <laughs> wow. Uh, so yeah, Golem, we're basically just post- fight with the other Bollywogs and lizard folk who didn't turn coat and uh, decided to go into the basement where there's more Bollywogs and treasure, apparently, according to Snapjaw. And, uh, oh, right, but what about the light in the tower? Eh, we're just ignoring it. Snapjaw <laughs> <laughs> said there was treasure down here, so I'm like, well... Yeah, we just kind of shrugged our shoulders and decided to go after treasure instead. That seems like a bad idea, but okay. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, Aurelius uh, did just spot 
a multitude of loose gems inside of water, which definitely will be not a problem. Won't not be at all there. suspicious. No, nah, nah, not even kind of. This so, yeah. seems like a bad idea, but... It if, does. Only, if only we had our tank here to tell us it was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a bad idea. <laughs> Too late! <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Five is such a good game. I agree. I'm on a very slow downloading files progress bar. I think that's all the background images. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost done, though. So while we're waiting for Gollum, we can just, like, screw up the gems and leave, right? <laughs> totally, yeah. So yeah, actually, as you go down to this little pit of gems, um, you find a stack of gems. Uh, you find uh, a, a reasonable couple of handfuls of fancy and semi-precious stones. Uh, all up, it seems worth about... Um, this seems like a really low sum. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that that's 10th level appropriate. 400,000 gold. <laughs> okay. Well, there's five of us. Three of us. <laughs> three of us. Five of us. Sorry. How much gold do all of y'all have? Oh, I've right? got, got just under 9k. And that's not including all of your <laughs> equipment? Not including the equipment. No, including equipment, I have about 1,000. I have 607 PP, but I don't know how much a PP is worth. I don't know the exact. That is 100 gold, I believe. Okay, so 1,800 thereabouts. Okay, you hey, find... Yeah, uh, gems worth about... 3,800 gold pieces. Damn. Sweet. Cool. Hey, now, the, the way the... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I found the map we're on. Woo! Oh, Woohoo! Did you double-click your icon? Am um, I still weakened? Did you uh, die? You shouldn't be. Oh, there yeah. you go. Are the, like, insignia's giant for anyone else right now? I uh, no giant? Like, the little status symbols. Yeah, it's, it's it's just the way the um the map is. Oh, yeah. It's, um, because the map's so big, but your tokens are so weird on it, they're oh, okay. very annoying. It just depends on the token, the way the token size compares to the, yeah, that's it. And you can just change them. Mm -hmm. It's it's fine. I was just making sure it wasn't. Is that better? I feel yes. like it's better. I don't know how I did that. It's not always you. A lot of the times, it's just the way the map is. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so as you're picking these up, the 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 way the stuff is sort of thrown in here, these coins and other sort of treasure detritus here um it looks like it's just been tossed from about uh where you where you could first see it uh, maybe a cultist who uh was throwing away a few trinkets for a rainy day to try and get it another time um that's probably the explanation it doesn't look like they've been gathered here or stored here uh in any other particular fashion um and it's out of the way enough that you imagine this is not uh, an area where treasure is meant to be kept um, however, as you are grabbing this stuff in the water, um, 
There is something that grabs your hand as you're scooping them up out of the water. I hold Flint's hand in return and share a meaningful game. <laughs> <laughs> not what you meant Oh, not quite what I meant <laughs> but as something brushes by your hand and then you grab uh, Flint's hand and look meaningfully into his eyes you realise that actually between your hands is a large tendril or almost tentacle of ooze mucus like substance that drops from your hand to the ground and then is withdrawn back into the water um by the time you realize that that was some part of some ooze like creature uh two of them have splattered out of the water fucking right and begin to wave their wacky wavy inflatable tentacle arms at you oh no sweet Oh no! Um, I haven't updated their HP, so let me just quickly do that because they are level two, and that's gonna die instantly. <laughs> no, no, no! Even my level two, it's fine. Yeah, we can go on. No, I need to give them at least forty more HPs. So now they have forty, have 40 HPs. HPs. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, roll an initiative. Uh, you are rolling initiative. The uh, ooze is going to have a surprise attack. Um, I have a witness. On the one person who was yeah. scooping up the gems, which I think was Aurelius, if I'm not correct. If I'm not wrong, not correct. If I'm not correct, it's Aurelius. If I am correct, it's also Aurelius. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> Oh, that one should be there. Sorry, not through there. Uh, so it is going to whip out at you uh, with a tendril of bone melting goo uh, that does hit you, uh, wraps itself around you, begins to eat away at the flesh and armor uh, protecting your flesh. <laughs> <coughs> The flesh protecting the flesh that's further down. Holy the flesh. shit. Holy moly. You also take Are a we? cumulative minus three penalty to fortitude. That save ends. Ew. None of this is good. Uh, and then that is the start of combat. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we'll get around. Dragle. You're the first one able to, to react. All right, I'm going to smack that ooze and try to get it off Aurelius. Let's try. Just... Huh, still a hit. All right, that's, and I'll just, yeah, I'll just stay there. That's me done. Okay. So as you hit the ooze, uh, your weapon that you use to hit it yep. takes a uh, minus one to damage rolls, uh, one damage, right. which will last until you have a short rest and are able to fix it up. But it okay. is a cumulative minus one. It's just to damage, not to attack. Yep. No worries. Um, so actually, I will put just on you, I'll just put a minus one effect so we can track it rather than yep. you changing anything there. No worries. And then I can adjust that. Does that apply to... Oh, I guess I wouldn't know. So I'll just wait. Uh, you can ask, but... Go for it. You would see him, ask. like, attacking this and his weapons start to sizzle and pop. Yeah, I was just wondering if that applies to magic weapons. Yes. Oh, okay. Unless you've got a weapon that's magic ability is immune to things that would stop weapons being shit let me check real quick oh i just <laughs> i happened to yes excuse me while I <laughs> oh it's written right here on the bottom of my character yeah, sheet <laughs> on the bottom of my character sheet it's written in immune... marker <laughs> immune to corrosion <laughs> uh Mujit, your turn buddy sunstrike uh is that a ranged attack yes 
Okay. Uh, so it's not, I mean, like, it's not a burst or a close burst or anything like that? No. no okay. So because these have wacky, wavy, inflatable tentacle arm balls, they have a threat of two. <laughs> and Weird. as you unleash a ranged attack, uh, Grey Ooze 2 is going to whip out and wackily wave uh, its tentacle at you. Oh, very good. As a opportunity attack. Whack. Oh, Jesus. We. Well. These users, they, they, they pack quite a punch. They very do. Oh, and you have the um, minus three penalty to fault. On the bright side, I can slide it one square. <laughs> oh, where would you like to slide it? Diagonal up. That way? Yeah. Okay. So it goes flailing backwards. Uh, you, you swear it lets out a shrill squeal, but it's actually just its uh, gooey self being slid across the rock out of the water. It's like a horrible, screeching, sucking noise. Um, it's not nice. Yeah. Okay, what are we going to do? Um, well, first things first, we're going to mantle of you. Okay, so this is the one okay. that makes everyone's defenses all the best defense? All of our defenses have the best defense. Just the best. Okay. I'm just going to have a quick read at that um, while you're doing the rest of your turn, just to see how that works with the minus threes that everyone's having. Okay, not including any temporary bonuses or penalties. Okay, cool. So... The people with minus three fort will still minus the three off the highest value. Correct. So, um, looking at our character sheets really quick, thanks to the very helpful party sheet, um, our ACs are 27, our fortitudes are 26, maybe minus three, um, our reflexes are 23, and our wills are 28. Excellent. More G. End of your next turn. Yes. Um. Do you feel safe, or, or would you like to come with me over there? I'll I'll come with you. I think. I will grab onto Margit and teleport. Uh, use my. That is one, two. Three, four, right here. And he can go into any square adjacent to me. A very well timed bamf. <laughs> They're waving tentacles. Stop it. All right. Um, I'm thinking whether I want to actually do. Wait, I should have like. Oh yeah, I have two action points. Okay, I'm going to action points. Wait, no. Um. You still have a standard left, right? Oh yeah, I have a standard, and I'm probably going to use an action point because these oozes hit hard. All right. Um, graves two. I'm going to send on the timeless trek in Mithrin Day. Okay. Okay. So it's going to take a very nice long break. All expenses paid. Oh yeah, all expenses paid. No. Nice. So it takes that much damage. Oof. And Oof. Uh, bloody it. Bloody it. The target is banished to the Feywild. Save ends. While banished, it is removed from play. When the effect ends, 
The target reappears in the space at last occupied or in the nearest unoccupied space of its choice. Now, as an immediate reaction, this splits into two. Would that would that send half of it when it goes because when it gets bloodied it splits into two, or would it send the whole lot and then it would split into two when it gets back? How do you guys want to do that? Um dramatically it seems cooler if half of it gets left behind, but Um I think with a reaction I would say your whole thing would resolve, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah that, that's what I would say too. Plus, like, it's a, it's an effect part. Oh, it's, yeah, it's an effect, and, and it's not an interrupt. Yeah, the whole thing's... Boop. Okay. Boom. Bam. The greyer ooze is gonna. And then when it comes back, it's gonna have met a friend. <laughs> And then I'm going to uh, spend an action, and I'm going to use Prophesied Strike on the Grey Ooze that is still Alright, 18 damage to it, and the next attack against it is roll twice, take the higher result. And okay. that's going to be my turn. Bye, guys. Alrighty. <clears throat> so this Grey Ooze, from back here, is going to slide one through the water. So that's a shift. And then it's going to slap with its tentacles. Mr... Dragle, because Dragle's in the water. Hey. And Dragle. Oh, and you can feel your strength being sapped. Um, How I'm manning. <laughs> uh, oh, before then. So it's at the end of its next turn, right? This thing comes back? Um, It is save and. Oh, okay. Well, let me roll a save for this thing. There's no minus on the save? No minus. Sweet. Well, it rolled... Oh, why are my rolls not showing up? Uh, it is a 20. Oh, boy. Show results. I don't know why it's hiding that roll. Should be there. Oh, it's because oh, the creature is hidden. It's in the options. You probably have to turn off. Um, or to turn it on. To show you. Yeah, it's the the hidden creature. That was why it was off. So, but so it succeeded. It did succeed. I demand justice, and it has to reroll. <laughs> uh, do you require line of sight for that? Because it is not in line of sight. Within ten squares of me. Hmm. Uh, it, huh. In another dimension at the time. That's you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna allow it. You can see it starting to pull back into the void, and you tell it to fuck right back off for a little bit. Fuck off. Uh, so it is going to roll another save, and still succeed. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> oh, and can I, make a, can I make a saving throw as well against that stuff? Uh, did it not roll one for you? No, no, because I, you know, he just put it on me. I just put in oh. my um in the track. I would almost. It's just a, it's a trigger, triggered action. Oh yeah, go for it. All right. Just enough. Just in case you guys uh, needed to see them rolls. Yep, you succeed. <laughs> so your fort, uh, your fort cool. minus is gone. Um, so the oozers are going to come back in, despite uh, Morjit's best efforts to demand they stay there and be judged. They are considerably smaller and less grey, um, but there is two of them now, as it sort of squelches back into existence in two smaller piles of itself. Um, 
Oh that my was God, this refuses. the end of its turn that, that happened. I only knew because some yeah, they're all on the same initiative. So I'm going to say that's that's both of them had their turn. So, Flint. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to... Uh... Hmm. I guess I'm about to find out if you can knock a ooze prone. I sure hope the answer is yes. I'm going to use Hunter's Quarry, or actually, first of all, I'm going to move here and then here. Okay, and so you trigger three opportunity attacks. Wait, oh, that's right, they're in fucking. Okay, okay. I don't think you want to do that. Those are just hit hard. <laughs> yeah. Can I readjust? Everybody I'll gets one, buddy. <laughs> I'll shift. I forgot. Uh, yeah. And um, use Hunter's Quarry on this 50 oozes of gray. Okay. And I will use Twin Strike on it. Oh, I didn't adjust their defenses. Lol. Just give them more HP. They no. all should have. Hang on, let me adjust these up because they should all be like way the fuck higher. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. I feel like a 35 might still hit. Yeah, it will, definitely. Okay. Um, I'm going to forego uh, my damage dice from the quarry yeah. to put uh, flow onto this here. 50 oozes of gray. Okay. That's from my hobbled, hobbling strike feet. Yeah. Everyone's attack so far would have hit. Uh, with, yeah, so I'm not gonna re redo anything. <laughs> oh, that's, I still have to roll the damage for that. Oh, okay. Nice. Well. <laughs> then I guess I'll just, uh, Use the other half of that. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> it did, did. So you squished the two little ones. Nice Sweet. save, Flint. Thanks, Max. Max. Cool. Yeah, thankfully. Crit. Uh, then I guess as a free action, I'll use Death Threat. Uh, my quarry target died. And I'm gonna point my sword at this other Grey Ooze, and uh, now he is quarried. Or no, not quarried, sorry. Uh, or yeah, no, he does get quarried, and I get combat advantage against him. Against him. Okay, that's cool. That's a encounter power. Okay, and that'll be my turn. All right. Um, okay, first, uh, lay on hands on uh, under. Hmm. The healing is so nice. Trigger virtuous recovery. Uh, I will shift up. And then um, the friend, our friends behind me are also looking pretty rough. So. Let's go with a resurgent smite. This is important. I'm going to use a thing on that. Do you have um weapon bonus attached to your uh, attack? I should. Why isn't the weapon bonus applying? Because that should be a lot higher than plus six. 
Yeah. Oh, what do you have for your main weapon on your character sheet? Uh, my war soul weapon plus one. Okay. Plus six seems super low. Yeah. Sea Builder says it should be plus 16. Yeah, that sounds much more like it. Yeah, that sounds right to me as well. Uh, I'll just let you know, a 18 will still miss. Okay, I'm going to use my hero point. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Um, Don't do that, because it's prophesied. Oh. So it's a roll twice to take the higher result anyways. There you go. So I fixed it. Uh, you had nothing versus AC, because the, the powers that say strength or something else don't pass correctly, and you have to choose which one it is on the attack roll. Oh, okay. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, so did that... Uh... Did that 25 hit? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, it does. Thank you for the prophecy strike. Yeah, of course. Not a lot of damage, but uh, an ally within five gets to recover 21 HP. Morjit, would you like it? Um, a railway says so who's got the yeah we're both not great there we go sorry Marjorie seems to be in worse shape than me which is why I offer yeah I might take it alright go for it what? Yeah. how much do I heal by sorry 21 math and look at I'm using a daily action point in a daily like you said no I'm can, using the hero point yeah now you use your hero point that's it <laughs> Oh, that's better. Nice. Nice. Ah, cool. Nice. Good use of a hero point. Yep. Oh, good damage, too. What was the result on the critical hit table? Holy shit. Uh, I think it rolled a, a, a dud, basically. No effect. Okay. Or extra effect. Yeah, so uh, when that critical hit happens, it rolls a d6, and on a 5 or a 6, it'll do some further effect. Okay. Um, and now, one ally within five of me can spend the healing surge. I'll take that. Oh, yeah. someone else wants it. Nah, go for it. Go for now, it. one for each of you. Sounds good. And then I also use my miner to give one to Dragle. So that is me turning on as many uh, heals as possible. Nice. It's a good brown turn. Right. That's, that's the word I was looking for. I'll do my healing surge in a sec. All right, I'm going to use Flash again against it, which is, where is it? Is that one? Target. It's pretty wild. Well. I might as well use my hero point, I guess. That's a better hit. Yeah. Oh. And it's probably going to split. Yeah. So, sorry, I actually missed that it got bloodied, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, how much right. life did it have left? You just overkilled by... 
fucking shitloads. Uh, it only had five life left, so I'm just going to say you fucking killed it, because two nice. of them with five life left isn't <laughs> oh, yeah. pointless. Yeah, I've, 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 already used, your... I've already used my two more dual axes if there was two of them. Yeah, and you would have had your, your killer bad. thing and roll on anyway, so he, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Golem splits it in half and then Dragle stabs each of the halves before he can... <laughs> Staples them back together. Not so fast, you little bastard. <laughs> Some solid poking. You will die as one piece. I don't think... <laughs> An anime reference. Sorry. Um... <laughs> As that ooze uh, does fall to pieces and sort of disintegrates the the, the last of them, uh, they slip back into the water, and you can see in the water a various number of shapes beginning to coalesce, uh, indicating it's probably time to get out of this room before more of them appear. Um, however, the immediate danger has passed. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend taking a short rest in this particular chamber, um, but I mean, hey, don't let me railroad you. <laughs> Um, Sounds I prudent. Our hurting ranged friends out first, and I'll cover the exit rear guard. Kind. Of. Just like making yeah. sure they they're not following, um, and they yeah. don't. They do stay within the the confines of that crack in the wall. Um, you can see them milling about uh, on the the far side and not coming out Stop. into the light. Uh, and you're able to catch a quick breather on this side. Uh, and have a short rest with a milestone. Well done. You're all good. All right. You're Fantastic. very good at this game. Well done. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to spend some surges and also get uh, a release of Song of Healing boost. Oh, yeah. I think that's the last rest. D D8 nice. now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just 8. Oh, it's just Every 8. Right. I'm sorry. You spend, you get plus 8. Was... Bloody 5th edition. <laughs> Yeah, you can make the monsters hurt though, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I love that we ditched the plot to go treasure hunting. Oh hey, yeah. Hey, treasure hunting is the plot, man. <laughs> That's right. It's the horde of the Dragon Queen, not the story of taking down the dragon queen <laughs> hmm sure why not all right so i'm gonna assume we came down those stairs uh south of us and have to decide where to go next that's correct uh before or to the the stairs to the uh, presumably the southeast there, I believe is where there's a shitload of bollywogs, and uh, the northwestern staircase had lizard folk and human tracks, but not very many of either, so it's not traveled very frequently. Um. All right. I kind of want to take care of the Bullywogs first, so if some yeah. other thing happens, they don't come up behind. Yeah, that was our plan. That's why we come to any for to, to get those Bullywogs, smash them. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, speaking of, the boss of the Bullywogs is down there. Flabrax or Flibber yes. Flab, something like that. So you're all heading down that way. Let me clear you some map. We are a well-oiled machine. I'm just going over that last fight in my head, and it was over in, like, a round. Yeah, it was good, too, because all that healing you dished out, too, like, what, three surges at least? Yeah, I did zero healing. Golem did all the healing that yeah. I did. So, Everyone does a part. Woo! As you all make your way down the first set of stairs here, um, 
they descend steeply, uh, sort of ten foot per stair, requiring oh, you to what? try ten foot, uh, five foot per square, requiring you to to climb down them rather than just step down them. Um, there is a large amount of mud uh, that spills down from layer to layer. You can almost just jump and land squelchily uh, into the mud below. Um, but the very last step uh, oh, oh. Oh. proves trickier than the, uh, the others. And in lieu of saves... Oh, yeah. yeah. So, oh, I saw some crits. Yeah, two yes. crits. So, uh, Dragal and Morgit, you each lose a healing surge. And everyone else loses, uh, oh, sorry, a healing surge and take d4 damage. Everyone else takes d4 damage. Oof. The critical hits don't actually matter. It was two crits, three misses. <laughs> I'll take that one damage. I'm definitely going to die by one HP in this next fight. Oh, uh, y'all, don't forget you got eight extra HP from Aurelius' Song of Rest when you spent a surge. Yeah. Yeah. I can't minus my healing surge value. Oh. Uh, just hold const... Uh, not... Uh, yeah, hold control and scroll down on your healing surges. So you don't lose oh, a healing yeah, cool. surge worth of HP, you just lose a healing surge. So yeah. Like you've yeah. spent one, yeah. Um, as you, you make your way down into this bit, uh, the noise of you falling down uh, the stairs seems to have... Uh, roused the attention of whatever is in the next room and you're met at the, the next set of stairs which are a little bit more uh, normal um, just standard one foot drops <laughs> for each of them um, you're met by two bollywugs who stick their, their weapons up towards you and uh, gurgle and uh, ribbit a series of noises that I don't think any of you understand um, but they seem to be gesturing for you to go back. Back the way you came. Whoa. Charge. I'll point at them with my sword arm and then do the universal <laughs> cut gesture. I mean, we could tell them where we found all these awesome gems. I I pull out one of the the rainbow gems, one of the crystal gems, and I uh, I show it to the bully. They sort of look at it quizzically, uh, and let out another string of uh, their strange guttural language, uh, and then look back at you and gesture to themselves. Questioningly, I um I make the motion of like so sort of like the shape of a pile of gems, and then I point over to the direction of where we fought those oozes. Huh. Huh. Uh, they both like Hello. look at each other and, and nod furiously, and then scamper up the stairs. Uh, up towards you, up towards where you you gestured. Uh, it doesn't take long, and you hear uh, what can only be described as frogs screaming, and then silence. <laughs> oh! And four sheets up there watching, apparently. It was <laughs> great delight. Yes. Yes. And with that, this room falls empty and silent. <laughs> clever. A little demented in its cleverness, but clever. Oh, yeah, no. it's. I, I'm not proud of it, but it needed to be done. Did it? I'm very yeah, proud of that. Absolutely. 
Uh, is it possible to examine these next set of stairs in this area for traps? Yes. However, you may not even need to. Okay. I'm still going to. <laughs> Why, you don't trust me? You think I'm going to gut no. you? Yes. Okay. Uh, you examine the next step. Uh, for traps, there are no traps, but as you're sitting there examining them, you hear Damn. scuttling <laughs> from the room up ahead. Uh, oh, scuttling? Scuttling. It is, is it... the same scuttling you heard before, though this time oh, it sounds like a lot of scuttling. I see bollywogs stitched together. <laughs> yeah, uh, you are... just. The bollywog oh. centipede. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all uh, remember that insect I was telling you about? Well, there's, I think that's a whole lot of them up ahead. We'll be fine with such valorous and strong companions leading the way. Yes, truly. Golem catches the hint and marches forward. <laughs> I love you, Golem. I gotcha. I'm with you. This, uh... Colin Flynn? Against my better judgment, <laughs> yes, I suppose. <laughs> you, have, you, 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 have, you have better judgment? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's not me. He wants to step up for me. There we go. I'll bring up the rear there. As you step down past the stairs, uh, this chamber is empty. But as you bring light into this area, you see the walls are alive with creepy crawlies scuttling into various holes, niches, and alcoves along the walls on all sides. Um, as you're uh, stepping down into here, some larger ones, instead of scuttling away, begin to scuttle out towards you. These are large uh -huh. centipedes, which uh, have the tokens of worms. Don't ask. I have no centipede tokens because prep. Uh, with them leading the way, however, you see a number of swarms uh, around their, their many feet, uh, with them taking the lead, heading towards you. Oh, and hell. I'm actually going to move you back to those stairs yep. there, um, because otherwise that, that one's going to have many attacks. <laughs> <laughs> so this sort of all starts happening as you, you step down into the area. Uh, roll initiative, if you're going to stay here and fight the centipedes. Are we going to stay? Okay, I guess we are. All right. Oh, I'm actually going to use, shit, um, begin the hunt. Okay. Uh, so that's a plus two uh, bonus to that initiative, so 12. Gross. Um, and I have a plus two bonus attack against rolls. Uh, I designate as a Hunter's Quarry here, which is going to be... Shit, can I see that scuttler from where I'm at? The... Yes, you can see everything here from where you're at. Okay, fantastic. That one, and I have a plus two power bonus to attack rolls against it. Do I put that on myself or on the scuttler? The power there's bonus? Little... Yeah, there's like a little drag thing I can drag onto it, or myself. I don't know which one. Uh... Well, let me find out here. Myself and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. I think that's correct. So, no, you've given it a, a, an attack power. So hold, oh, hold, yeah. hold control and drag it onto it. It's shift. I think it's shift, isn't it? Oh, shift, yeah. Sorry, you're right. Hold shift, shift and drag it onto it, and then it'll apply the effect to yourself, but targeted to him. There you go. Okay. So can you remove that other one off? Okay, thank you. I already have, yeah. Okie dokie. So I'm still gonna go last. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say, Mojay, do you wanna do you wanna attack the swarms? Cause you 
Because I think I've, we do less damage, don't we, to swarms if we just use weapons. I've got AOEs, which will be good at them, but they're all encounter, so I'd ah, yeah. like Fair to enough. hit more than one at a time. Yep, that's all right. Should we focus on the scuttlers first? Because they seem to be drawn by the scuttlers. Yeah, we'll, we'll do more damage versus them. More real damage, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, that would be best. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to charge that closest one, I guess. Yeah. Was, or was that the one you did, Flynn? I guess we'll see how much we heard it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, might as well have both of us smack Yeah. Alrighty, Morjit, you are up first. Alrighty. Because I can't do much until everything gets close. Yeah. Um, don't panic when you see that there's high def effects because these are, um, the way Fantasy Grounds does it, I can put lower level monsters and have them go in at higher level. So that comes in as attack, damage, and defense bonuses. So they will... Say much bigger numbers than you think they should. <laughs> right. So is is that am, am I in an order approaching next to me, or has that got an order or something, or, or or am I safe? That one, the swarm. Yeah. Uh, if you were to move, it w would still get an opportunity attack against you. Okay, I'm gonna well, I'm going I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna charge south. So okay, I can do actually. Uh, sorry. Because you started a turn within its yeah, aura, yeah. you will take that's three damage plus two extra damage, so it's just three. Um, that should be. Yeah, Why yeah. did that... Oh yeah, no, that's Whoa. way too much. That is not right. <laughs> <laughs> that Come damage on, bonus man. is uh, adding. Fourteen damage just for existing. Uh, <laughs> it won't exist for long. <laughs> so, just three damage. One, two, three. There we go. So you have 15 damage now. Okay. Uh, cool. I will need to add that in manually because otherwise its attack <laughs> bonus is going to... Its damage bonus is going to apply to the aura. <laughs> yeah, because I was a 9, wasn't I? No. If I said out a bit, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Right. Can swarms even charge. apply opportunity attacks? Like no, they... Gonna... they uh, well, they have... They have a reach. They have a... They just have an aura that does damage usually as well. All right, I'm going to charge it and chop it, hopefully. Are you ready? Oh, the good old charge and chop. Charge and chop. It's got to be good. Yeah. And Ooh. bloody... Nice. Um, that'll do me, I reckon. Done. Do him, too. Bloody yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this scuttler is going to uh, charge and chop. Oh, sorry. Um, Because we had... Oh, my weapon's still got a damage effect on it too. Just bear that in mind. From the ooze. Oh, okay. I'll take that off you. Sorry. Um, and someone else had that as well. That was... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't apply that. Sorry. That was only going to you. I am bad That's at wrong. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, that should have... Uh, it's easy to miss that stuff, dude. <laughs> yeah. God, it's terrible. Um... So the centipede scuttler that turn is up is going to charge at you. Um, and it is going to attempt to uh, bite you. Right. It is not going to be able to. Phew. It is then as a minor act. Nope, nope, I can't do that because you're not bitten. Okay. Uh, at the end of its turn, it's going to shift four squares. Two, three, four. Up onto the wall as it skitters along. Uh, over to here and when it shifts yep cool um, the other scuttler is going to act and this one is also going to try to bite you and that one is going to hit so you take 22 damage 5 ongoing poison and Oof. that is its turn yikes can I use my shrug off? I'll try and shrug yes. it off. That's your save, ain't it? To get yeah, thank you, Anna. Oh, I uh, failed. Uh, luckily, I can help. Uh, as my minor action, I'm going to use Divine Metal on... I 
I like the sound of that. You're divine metal. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it do? Does it give me another save or? Uh, you make a saving throw with bonus equal to my charisma mod. And what's so? What's that? I'll just roll it and just see, I guess. Yeah. Oh, right. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Nice. Brilliant. Uh, and I have a feat called Metal Proven. Ooh. When an ally succeeds on a saving throw granted by your use of Divine Metal, that ally can spend a healing surge. And yeah. also Lend Health means you can just recover 21 HP instead, because Damn. I'm a cool pal. Hippie. You still have to spend a you have to still have to spend a surge, but you use my surge value. Okay. Um so the, is that in your power abilities? Do you just click on it and target me, or do I have to do it? Uh, you will have to manually reduce your number of surges, right. but I can put the 21 health on you. No worries. Yep, someone just did it. Magic, there you go. All right, neat. Okay. Yep, brilliant. Um, cool, that helped out. Uh, then I will... Can I actually fit in that spot one south? Uh, yep, yep, you'll be able to fit there. Okay. If more than half of the square is exposed, usually I'll say you can you can fit there. Um, if less than, you would be squeezing to fit there. All right. Uh, then I'm going to use challenging strike. Nice, 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 nice. Ho ho! He's on fire. Nice. Menacing blow. Be very nice. Uh, I do. I have crit dice. I should have crit dice, but I've never ever rolled my. Uh, Warsaw weapon should have at least like a d6, right? Yeah, yeah if it's a like plus two, to have a couple. There you go. Roll a d6, but I've added the crit dice onto your Warsaw weapon. Okay, an extra four. Sweet, I'll add that to it, and it's probably enough to kill. Yep, the scuttler is dead. Oh, neat. Very nice. Shit. <laughs> and that's my turn. <laughs> Good turn. Well done. Uh, well, I was going to do things, but now I don't think I can. Am I too good? You're just too good and too good at playing the game. Um. Drago, what's your surge value? 21. Mm, okay. Oh, actually same as mine. Yeah, yeah I think we've got the same hit points pretty much. Uh, two, I actually have a, more. I have a belt that increases my surge value, so you actually have slightly more HP than me. Yeah, I got two more, yeah. I'm going to hold my turn until after Flint goes. Okay, okay. Good idea. Just to let you know, I go last. Yeah, I know. Okay. That's I'll how we can, get, do, that's how we can get hurt and he can heal us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enough, yeah. Is that your turn, really? I'm, I'm holding it until after Flint. Ah, okay. All right, the swarms are going to swarm in. And how, how many action points has everyone got? We, sh we probably should be using them. I've got three. I've got yeah, two. I have two. <laughs> yep, two. I did use one to great effect last battle. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to, but, but we exploited the last one. Hey, well, I can hit them all now. <laughs> oh, so the I say, I've got an ability called Time We Dodge, so I guess I'd have to move after the first one, maybe. So the first one tries. All right, so I'll I'll rem uh, we'll count the rest as moving only when it would be their turn. Yeah, actually, well, yeah, because I was probably going to move down to there to let Flint come out. If I can shift three, it's just called if I'm targeted by a foe. Just 
double click there. So you shift, have to, shift off the half your speed. Okay. So they can so, still come. To me. They can still chase me, obviously, but yeah. Uh, so that one will go to there. Uh, the next one on its next turn will go uh, actually just down to Golem and attack Golem. Oh, sorry. You should also have poison on you. This one will move down to Golem as well. This one will move to you. You're trying really, really hard to bite me. Uh, so you will take ongoing fire poison. Because you already have poison, uh, you are instead weakened. Oh, that shit. Didn't I save versus that? Didn't go and give me a save? And I yeah. saved? Uh, he um, the other one just poison you again. This turn. Yeah. Oh, this turn just then. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so you're weakened. Also, you will take an extra damage from that hit attack because he is adjacent to an ally. So I'll add that to you manually. Um, and then the next one will come. And this one was coming from there. So it's probably going to come down here and go for you. Hi. He'll hit. Uh, you're already poisoned, already weakened, uh, so instead you just take an extra... I didn't roll damage for the last one, did I? So, there we go, there's no. that one. And then this is Bloody. this one, and this will do an extra two points of damage. Right. You know what? You know what? Uh-oh. Flint. Hang on, hang on, I have a thing I want to do. Okay. Nightly Intercession. Ooh. Um, trigger an enemy within 10 squares. You hit your ally with a melee ranged attack. The attack hits you instead of the ally, and you pull the target to a square adjacent to you and make an attack again. So I'm going to pull it to the square south of me. Okay, so that was the last one there. Yep, and the attack hits me instead of Turtle. His HP back. So it hits yeah. you, right? It doesn't have to target you with the attack? Correct. Okay. So you will take uh, plus three extra damage because there's three of them adjacent to you. Oh, the extra attack misses, but that's fine. That's okay. just super, super solid with okay. the... Go poisoned. There you go. Uh, Flint, it's your turn. Okay. Groovy. Do not push uh, them. I have them right where I want them. <laughs> yep. We got, we got them surrounded. <laughs> How? Is that... Did you see the scuttler one is on the wall or no? The scuttler... Like, it's it's in that space, but it's like thematically scuttling along the wall at exactly the same height it would be if it was standing there. It's not. Okay. It's not doing it. Yeah, no, Thematics, man. Let me just narrate some cool uh, shit. <laughs> no, it's... It is. It's very nice. It's very immersive. I'm immersed. This, this fucking giant centipede is going to Yeah, yeah. Wall. Carry on with your turn. Uh, <laughs> can, uh, can I actually see it from where I currently am on the stairs? Can you what, sir? Can I see it? Because it doesn't seem... Yeah, so these st stairs are just normal steps. So I'd say only if you were down the bottom, you would be sort of obscured, but you're halfway up, so you can see it. Alright. Uh, I'm going to charge it from here. I know I'm going to take an opportunity attack. Or, well, just an aura attack, I guess. Either one, one of those. Uh, first, I'm going to Hunter's Quarry it. This is a minor action. Okay. And I'm not even going to bother doing the other thing. Uh... So I'll move right there. Uh, so to do that, you will provoke an attack from Swarm 2 because there's no way to move through yeah. that space without it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
Oh, you you should probably re-roll that too. I'm I guessing. sure am gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> nice. That's better. Hey, it still hits. Uh, yeah, it's not until twenty-one. Okay. Nice. And that's my turn. Marjit, how happy are you with your current position? Um, I'll, ideally, I'd be one back up beside you, so then I can pull Gollum into the square I'm about to leave. I, I want to stay right where I am. Yeah, I'd don't want to nuke you at the same time, and you go before the centipedes. Okay, so you can target all the centipedes from where you're standing then? Yes. Yes. Alright. In that case, I'm not going to grab you, but I am going to... Oh, I'm going to go right there. Um, Y'all, I think killing the big centipedes just pissed them off. Guess we're gonna piss him off even further. Oh yeah. Guess we are. All right. Final action. I'm going to cast majestic word. Who needs majestic word the most? Dragle. <laughs> Dragle's pretty beat up. <laughs> Cavadingu. Oh, awesome! Thank you. Dragle, how happy are you with your current position? Because if um, you want to, you can um, teleport to. Him. I reckon how about. How about there? So I can just right see there. that. Oh, yeah. yeah just, just that one, if possible. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, let's let's piss these centipedes. I am going to. Use Prophesied Strike on Centipede Scuttler number one. Yeah, yeah, Prophesied Strike. Unless, are both of you guys poisoned? I am, yes. Yep. Okay, okay. And they're both save ends? Yes. Okay, yeah. Um, I know what I'm going to do then. I'm going to do Prophesied Strike on the Scuttler. It's going to hit. Not going to do that much damage, but uh, the next attack against it is going to be a roll to take. Then I'm going to use an action point, and I'm going to play the song of the new dawn on Centipede Sword number three. One. All right, that's also going to hit. Does that much damage, and allies that are adjacent to it can uh, each ally adjacent to the target makes a saving throw, rolling twice and using the higher result. Nice, brilliant. So is, that that for is that for one, one effect, effect, or... effect or? Yeah, you get one saving throw, so you can choose what you want to save. Yeah, against. I'll go for weakened yep. then. I think. Okay. I'll get rid of the poison. Brilliant. Thanks for that. Thank you very much. And I think that's going to be the end of my turn. Sensational. Sweet. Um, I'm going to shift back a Okay. And first I'll cast Rain of Blood against all the... Raining Blood! No, 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 no. Oh, damn. Nice. Oh, that's a lot Very of hits. Nice. <laughs> damn, they're vulnerable? Oh. Who the fuck made them vulnerable? Ah, oh, oh, it's an area good. attack. God damn. Yeah. Nice. It, it, it gets better. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. That's why. Oh, oh, boy. 
All right, now for oh. the true draw. Oh no! I really like invokers. Crazy <laughs> <laughs> and Golem gain a bonus of their attack power. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Is that all part of Rain of Blood? Yep. God that's damn, insane. that's real good. How averse are you guys to taking an AOE hit? Uh, cool. I don't mind. We got heaps of healing. <laughs> <laughs> Righty up. Yep. God damn. Holy shit. God damn. Defense is minus four? Yes. Unfortunately, I need to roll those that attack against you guys. Oh, it's, I'll live. Because okay. it is each creature, yes. Why does it Sorry. say minus four on the checker, but minus one on the chat uh, yeah because it's supposed to be my con modifier oh weird the chat must be getting something different but it is your con modifier yeah. is four so that's fine yeah yeah golem's made of metal she'll be fine Ooh. oh not if you target the reflex <laughs> oh uh -oh. <laughs> i'm still not even bloody <laughs> got that paladin power All right, is that Morshid's death turn? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got more AOE for next. Okay, I'm very sorry, Dragal, but at the start of your turn, because oh, you are no. within the aura of all the swarms, you are going to take three, six, nine, twelve, plus uh, eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. Holy shit! So, what? Because each each, each swarm does a aura attack that does three damage plus two extra per additional centipede swarm adjacent to the enemy. So each oh, swarm no. is doing eleven points the... of damage. Right. Wouldn't that be six more for each? Because each of them, not counting themselves, has three. Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry, that one's adjacent to you, not to him. Yes. So it'll be. Three plus... So it'd be nine. Nine times four instead of eleven times four. So 36 damage to Drago. Oh. The start of your turn. Groovy. That'll, that'll motivate me, hopefully. <laughs> so you're at 57. There you go. So that blood is right. As the, the, the remaining living bodies of centipedes are still trying to shred and tear you up. In a and mass because frenzy. you're bloody. <laughs> because you're bloody, they all get to do it twice. <laughs> ha ha. No, <laughs> All right. Um, my main thought is you should get the hell out of dodge. Well, the reason I want to go there is so I can use a, use an area attack, like oh, a whirling okay. frenzy. Oh, oh yeah, do it. it. Do that's your what it, whirling. That's what it does. Turn this into Diablo too. Well, maybe hell if yeah. I miss, I take one d six. So that'd be a bit of fun. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh, god. Please I got zero point. Go for it, bud. All right, here we go. Come on, all 20s. There you go. Okay. So I've got a few bonuses, which is good. And damage. Oh, good damage. Yes. <laughs> Bloody <Yeah>. dead. <laughs> 46. Holy it's God. funny. That second dice, I actually rolled a one. It came up a bloody nine. That's all. Got to look brutal. Holy yeah. shit. Holy that's shit. That's a lot of damage. And it's got an action point, but I might wait now. Just a centipede blender now. <laughs> <laughs> now First you put um... in the blood from Morjit, and then you just spin it all up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I might shift up a square so Gollum can get combat advantage if he wants it. Uh, are you attack that one, Gollum, or? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, you should probably step back away. I'm probably going to take them out with my next turn, but you yeah. are. Oh, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to get healed before the next turn, maybe. If not, I can step back. There's also three less oh. to be attacking you, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think in all, right, in all likelihood, combat's going to end before Drago gets another turn. 
Oh yeah, and one of them's yeah. still gonna go, right? So you might wanna. No, oh, it's, I'll... it's fine. I'll play it. I can. I'll, I'll get it back there, you guy. Okay, there, there. Oop. Yeah, because I'm also doing an area attack. You oh, could okay. have stolen my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> I took lots of damage to do it, sorry. I mean, you could charge that guy. Oh, I don't think you can survive the uh, opportunity attack it yet, though. Sorry, ah, he's that. got like 50 health, uh, 20 health left. It's fine. So what was that about charging someone? <laughs> nice, I, can shift, I can shift too. Thanks for reminding me. I'm a bit out of touch with the barbarian. <laughs> I'll shift too. So which one's the most hurt? Is the one flint fighting very hurt or not? It's bloody. Uh, the scholar has a turn coming up after you. So if you're able to eliminate it this turn, um, Golem could finish the round before yep. we take any more damage. I'll do that then. Charge. I can't. Well, it's just. It's just. I shift two after killing someone. I just do one weapon damage. I rolled a one. How much did I do in the end? <laughs> oh, that was nice. Okay. Well. <laughs> Right. I think it, I think it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> okay. So you don't have to do an attack for the lunch? No, it's it's, uh, nice. I'll, where is it? I'll just drop it in. I believe you. I believe you. It's, here it is. That's very nice. Um, how do I target multiple enemies on a thing? On the control combat? click on multiple things, either on their tokens on the map or on the combat tracker. There you okay, go. cool. Uh, so it's my turn coming up, right? Yeah. Yep. It doesn't matter much anymore, but uh, strength from valor. Also, first I take a bazillion fucking damage. A bazillion minus three, at least. Uh, how much damage do I take from the swarms? You will take three, five from each. Actually, sorry, because the other scuttlers did, you will take seven from each. Okay. I'm very sad you didn't kill the scuttler before Dragil's turn. Seven times Oof. four would have been very nice. No, sorry, not seven times four. Four. 14 times 4. Would have been nice. Hey. Oh, God. Um, I, all right, I so... <laughs> once you apply that, I will then be bloodied? Uh, uh, then I will use uh, trigger reactive surge. Oh, wait, no, specifically it's an attack bloody yeah. me. Is that an attack or an effect? No, it's an aura. You just take that damage at the start of your turn. Okay, fine. Um, strength from Valor. Neat. Nice. And Very I gain nice. five, t five temporary hit points for each one I hit, but that doesn't really matter anymore. Ah, you can roll over that temporary hit points to the next battle we're going to be in. I think I need a short rest first. <laughs> well, there's a, a lot less insects in here and no slime, so hey. Oof. That Perfect spot for us to rest, level up. Yes, please. I'd like to be level 11, yes. Yes, thank you very much. Thanks in advance. Oh, yeah. Dead swarms. Uh, the last sounds of shells of uh, the creatures clattering to the floor. Um, you all 
don't level up. Oh, it's the middle of a dungeon, people. Come on. Come on. <laughs> like, come you on. level up before the final fight, so we get to play with our pets. I'm very surprised that you're actually not level 11 yet. I thought you already were. Oh, so we no. are supposed to be 11. Well, yeah. I did say you'd be level 11 by the time you got to the castle in my notes. So, yeah, I guess you level up. You get your paragon paths. Oh, Explain yeah. to me why you get them <laughs> from killing centipedes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, Tell me. me what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Okay. With uh, so we got... rest, I healed up with, completely with two surges, which was nice. I will do your nice. um, short rest here as well if you guys are going to take a five minute breather. Uh, is this mid session break or is this. Like, this is going to be the, the, the end of the session. Yeah, I've only got sort of 10 minutes left to go. So. Okay. Took me about uh, that long to uh, prep, us, <laughs> prep for the next encounter. I think we're probably in there. This was great. I missed this. I missed uh, this. Oh, sorry. Yes. Um, what an epic okay. game. 